Hi everybody, Steve Willis here, or AKA Commando Steve. I'm a uh, Are You OK ambassador. In Queensland where I grew up, year seven was still a part of primary school and that's where I experienced a fair bit of bullying. But I, um, I took that bullying as a way to um, you know, prove to myself and others that I was worthy. I found myself waking up at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning and just getting up and, and just running and just beasting myself. Something that I could control and it was a way in which I could beat myself up. I believe a lot of what happened um, for me when I was younger in my teenage years and my army years were, were lessons, were important life lessons to, um, to help me identify with myself. Really grow that, uh, that emotional intelligence and, and, and compassion and empathy and just kindness because I've done some hard stuff in my life, you know, as a lot of people do. And one thing that I really connect with is pain, suffering and fear. It's real, but it's not unique. You're confiding in someone, just telling them that you're feeling a bit down and out, you need some help, or even you know, on the flip side, being the person to ask a mate or a friend or you know, a colleague, you know, are you okay or is everything all right, mate? Just that little shunt, that little nudge that they need to, um, to take a course of action that helps them to view life a little differently. So Are You OK encourages four steps and um, that is to start a conversation by asking, are you OK? Second is just to listen and listen without judgment. Third is encourage action. And those actions could be a number of different things. And the fourth one is just checking in from time to time. Being there um, for that person and helping them identify with themselves and, and with the situation and show that you, um, that you actually care. That could, that could be enough to really help a person turn their life around.